So some schools in our area have already started their fall semesters. The rest go back on Tuesday, but a lot of families still not confident about how this is just all going to work, especially if they don't have access to a device to help with online learning. We have WMRT News Aaron McPherson live here in Television Park with more on how parents plan to try to get some help from their local leaders today. Good morning, Christian Ashley. Well, this morning there is going to be a meeting actually put on by state and local leaders, senators, delegates and Harford County Councilmen to hear directly from the parents so they can talk about the difficulties and challenges they have with virtual learning. And the meeting actually isn't going to be virtual. It's going to be in person today this morning at 11 o'clock at Red Pump Elementary School. Now we know nothing compares to in person learning, so families are worried about their students regressing and they're worried about their mental health as well. One of the major concerns right now is the lack of devices. The school district's superintendent for Harford County said they ordered enough computers for all of their students, but they're not going to be here in time. They're about 15,000 short, so only kids grades four and up will get them, adding to the already built up frustration. And last month, parents came together protesting, urging Harford County schools to reopen. At that protest, parents stressed how virtual learning is a disaster and their kids need to be back in the classroom for kindergartners all the way to high schoolers. I don't know how he's going to sit in front of a computer and do virtual learning because he doesn't even sit in front of the TV. I'm going to get to miss out on choir, swim team, and just being in an environment with other kids. And that's something that really keeps me going. These concerns still stand today with only days before the first day of classes. The devices at least are expected to be here by mid October, so next month, but families still have to figure out a solution until that. Now, even though there is a requirement for live in person, excuse me, live instruction online for a certain amount of hours a day, Harford County schools say they do have a plan in place to help those students not fall behind. If they don't have those devices, they don't have a way to get on those computers at those specific times every day for every week until they get those. Reporting live, Aaron McPherson, WMAR 2 News.